Hello friends and welcome to this video lesson of the song Palli Kudam from the movie Nagpe Tunai. This song was requested by one of my subscribers, Blue and Red. So thanks for requesting this tutorial. I hope you enjoy this video. This lesson is dedicated to you, Blue and Red. Let's look at the chords used in the song. The first chord is the A minor chord. You can see the chord diagram over here. The A minor chord, you play the you place the first finger on second string, first fret, middle finger on fourth string, second fret, a ring finger on third string, second fret. That's the A minor chord. Next we have the C major chord. To play the C major chord. Keep the first finger on second string, first fret, middle finger on fourth string, second fret, the ring finger on fifth string, third fret. That's the C major chord. The next chord is the D minor chord. For the D minor chord, you place the first finger on first string, first fret, middle finger on third string, second fret and the ring finger on 2nd string, 3rd fret. That's the D minor chord. The next chord is the E minor chord. For the E minor chord, you place the middle finger on string number 5, 2nd fret, ring finger on string number 4, 2nd fret. That's the E minor chord. The next chord is the F chord. For the F chord, you place the first finger on the first two strings, first fret, middle finger on third string, second fret, the ring finger on fourth string, third fret. That's the F chord. Next we have the G chord. For the G chord, we place First finger on string number 5, second fret, middle finger on string number 6, third fret, and ring finger on string number 1, third fret. These are all the chords you need to play the song. Now moving on to the different strumming and plucking patterns used in the song. The first plucking pattern we have is the most complicated. Let me show you how to play each chord in this plucking pattern. So for A minor chord, you play string number 5, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3. 5, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3. So when you play that smoothly, it will sound like this. If you are a classical guitarist, it will be easy for you. If you are not a classical guitarist and this is the first time you are trying to pluck with fingers, don't worry, it takes a bit of practice, but once you get it, you can play it very well. Remember to practice slowly. And then build up your speed. The second chord, C major. You play the same strings, 5, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3. Next we have a D minor chord. For D minor chord, we play string number 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3. For E minor chord, we play string number 6. 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 6, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3. For the F major chord, we play string number 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3. And for the G major chord, we play string number 6, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 6, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3. 
So that is the plucking part of the song. Next for the strumming part of the song what we have, the pattern is very simple. It is six down strokes. But we have the emphasis on the fourth stroke. So that means you play the first three and harder on the fourth one. So it sounds like this. So remember the emphasis is on the fourth down stroke. One, two, three, four, five, six. And other thing, a guitar technique used in the song is to mute the string with your right palm. It's called a palm mute. So you mute the string with your right palm and then you strum the strings. So instead of sounding open like this, when you mute the string, it sounds like this. This is what is used in this song. So try this out and see how it works for you. If you have trouble playing the muted strings, you can always play it open string. The song is still going to sound good. So don't worry too much about if you can get the muted string sound perfect or not. You can still play the song. Now let's go to the actual play along of the song.
So thanks for watching this video friends. I'm sure you learned how to play the song. Try the difficult parts a few more times and you will surely get it perfect. Remember to comment, like and subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Do let me know which other songs you would like me to teach you. And I am really thankful to all of you for supporting me with your requests and subscriptions till date. All the new watchers, looking forward to your support as well. Looking forward to more requests from all of you. Thank you.